Again, soles of your feet together, knees out wide. Moving down on your backs, allowing those knees to fall open with gravity. Allowing your shoulders to fall open with gravity as well. Starting to connect with the breath. Again, we're breathing in to a four count, holding to a four count, and exhaling to a four count. And as you breathe, breathe in through the belly, up through the ribs, the lungs, all the way to the tops of your throats. And then exhale in the opposite direction from the tops of your throats, down through the ribs, the lungs, all the way to your bellies. And so you're wringing water from the washcloth, bringing navel into spine. So let's begin. Inhale, two, three, four, hold. Up with your feet, pull down with your hands, and happy baby. Baby, 
rocking back and forth, touching first one knee, and then the other to the mat. And then from here, let's go ahead and extend those legs above you. Draw those arms overhead. Allow those legs to come down to a 45 degree angle. Inhale first. Exhale as you draw yourselves in. Inhale back. Exhale forward. Inhale back. Exhale forward. Inhale back. Exhale forward. Six more on breath. Follow, follow the sun, the direction of the birds, the direction of love. Breathe, 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 cherish this moment, cherish this breath. Tomorrow's a new day for everyone. Last one. Draw those knees in for a hug. Rock back and forth. Anymore. Massage your lower backs Break and your kidneys. Song. Roll over onto the Break left side. As you extend your legs, place way. your left elbow down, left Break palm of your hand down. Crazy society and to the stage. Lower that just a little. Take a inhale as you bend. Let's see. Inhale first. Exhale as you bend that right knee. Grab onto the sole of your right foot. Exhale. Extend above you. Breathing in and out in infinity. Drag that right shoulder back and down. Opening up as much as possible. Inhale that right knee in. Exhale as you extend, roll over onto that right side. Right elbow, right palm of your hand down. Inhale that left knee in. Grab your instep. Exhale, extend, dragging that left shoulder back and down as much as you can in infinity pose. Which way the wind blows? This day is done. Inhale that left knee in. Exhale, extend in front of you. Draw those knees in as you're on your back. Place your hands behind your thighs. Final rolls from shoulder to tailbone and back again, allowing each vertebrae to come back into alignment. We'll do three or four of these. arrive at the tops of our mats in Sukhasana. I'm going to go ahead and move my mat forward just a bit so that I don't kick the painting behind me when we get started. So we're sitting in Sukhasana at the tops of our mats, placing our hands on our knees. Inhale that left arm up. Exhale as you move down onto that right elbow. Look up towards the ceiling, drag that left shoulder back and down, drag your left hip down towards the mat as much as possible, and breathe. Inhale back to center, exhale first. Inhale that right arm up, and exhale down to the left. Looking up towards the ceiling, Stretching out those right obliques, dragging that right shoulder back and down, dragging that right hip down, and smile. Inhale back to center. Exhale, good job. Inhale first, exhale as you extend that right leg. Drag that left heel in. Inhale, 
those arms up through center. Twist to the right. Exhale down. Hinge on your shashasana. Chin to shin. Breathing in and out. Extending the breath to your left kidney. If this is your practice, maybe even placing that left hand over your left kidney. Inhale as you walk those hands back again. Exhale as you cross over, grabbing that left knee, opening up to the back of the room, twisting, releasing toxins. Keep your right foot flexed. Inhale that left arm up and over. Find those right toes and twist it on your shashasana. Inhale, that right shoulder through. Exhale down one last time. Inch on your shashasana. Inhale as you walk those hands back again. Exhale, bend that knee. Inhale first. Exhale as you extend that left leg. Draw that right heel in. Flex that left foot. Inhale, both arms up through center. Twist to the left. Exhale down, chin to shin. As far as you can, and then melt in John Yershashasana. Sending the breath to your right kidney this time. Breathing in and out. Inhale as you walk those hands back again. Exhale as you cross over, grabbing onto that right knee, flexing that left foot. And then reaching back towards the back of the room with that right hand. Twisting, releasing toxins. Inhale, that right arm up and over. Find those left toes. And breathe, breathing in to twisted Janir Shashasana, opening up that whole right side of the body. Inhale as you drag that left shoulder through. Exhale down, chin to shin, one last time. Inhale as you walk those hands back again. Exhale as you bend that knee. Good job, everyone. Place your fingertips on the mat. Inhale that right arm up. Exhale, bend your elbow. Inhale that left arm up. Find that right elbow. Exhale as you drag it over to the left as far as you can. Look up towards the ceiling. Inhale, both arms up. Exhale down. And then this time, inhale, that left arm up. Bend your elbow as you exhale. Inhale, that right arm up. Grab that elbow. Drag it over towards the right. Look up towards the ceiling and breathe. Inhale, both arms up. Exhale down. Good job. And then from here, let's go ahead and place the soles of our feet together, knees out wide, heels coming in towards our sit bones. Grab onto your toes, sit up straight, shoulders back and down, elbows coming in towards your ribs. Inhale first. Exhale as you bend those elbows, folding forward, flat back as far as you can. Walk those hands out. Come down onto your elbows or flat down, wherever you are, in Baddha Kanasana. Inhale as you walk those hands back again. Exhale as you cross your feet. Place your hands on the mat, roll up into table. Before we get started in table, let's go ahead and walk those knees back, one hand's length. Inhale first, exhale as you come down to the lasana, child's pose, maybe placing your third eye on the mat, massaging it, rocking back and forth. 
Inhale as you go all the way through, dragging those shoulders back and down, hips come down into Cobra. Exhale all the way back to Balasana, Child's Pose. Inhale all the way through to Cobra. And exhale back to Balasana. Good job. Inhale back up to table. Walk those knees forward. Inhale that right arm straight out. Left leg goes back. Lift your foot. Grand sunbird, looking towards the front of the room. That thumb is up. Again, that foot is flexed. Reach back with that right hand and your left leg. Grab your ankle, pull up into modified dancer, modified boat pose. Opening our hearts. Exhale down. Inhale that left arm straight out. Right leg goes back. Flex that foot. Again, we're in sunbird, looking towards the front of that. Swing that left arm around, then your right knee, grab your ankle, pull up into modified dancer, modified bow pose. You gotta help me make the stand. Exhale down, good job. And then from here, curl those toes under, sit back on your heels, making infinity symbols with our wrists. Opening up those toes as much as possible. Breathing in and out. And again, we're here for one minute. So settle in. Good job, everyone. But I always thought that I'd see you. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Good job. Rock forward on your elbows. Slap out your toes. Good job. And then from here, we're moving up towards the top of the mat, placing the palms of our hands on the mat, walking those toes under, coming up into dolphin first, breathing in and out. It's also possible to clasp those hands in prayer. Wherever you are is perfect. Move those feet back so that we're in dolphin plank. So your back should be as flat as possible. Breathing in and out. Lift that left foot and let it hover. Bring it out to a 45 degree angle. Back to center and down. Walk those feet forward. Back into dolphin. Make sure that the palms of your hands are on the mat now. Kicking up with that left leg. Getting some height as you do so. Do this five times. And then walk those feet back to dolphin plank once again. Lift that right foot. Let it hover. Move it out to 45 degrees. Back to center. Walk those feet in. Kicking that right foot up, letting it hover. One, two, three, four. Five, good job. Come down to your knees. 
Placing our toes together, knees as wide as the mat. Come up on your hands. Inhale first. Exhale as you walk those hands forward. Drawing your hips down towards your heels. In Malasana with Bhattakanasana knees. Good job. Inhale as you come back up to the table. Tuck in your shirts. <laughs> Curl those toes under. Lift your hips. Drag your chest back towards your thighs. Flatten out your backs. Press those palms into the mat. Press that area between your index finger and thumb into the mat. Maybe walk the dog. Lifting first one heel and then the other. Come up on your tippy toes, bend your knees, step it up. Inhale, halfway up, the arm up. Flatten out your backs, look towards the front of the room. Shoulders back and down. Exhale down, Uttanasana. Palms of your hands on the mat. Inhale, all the way up. Swan eye backwards. Hands come together. And hands come to the Good job. We're going to start our sequencing by doing five Syria Namaskar A's. And so we're doing this either on breath, closing our eyes, or follow me. Inhale, both arms up. Exhale, swing it down. Inhale, halfway up. Go through your vinyasa. Back to down dog. Up on your tippy toes. Step it up. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale down. Inhale, all the way up. On the backwards. Exhale, all the way down. Starting the second one. Inhale, halfway up. Chaturanga down. Inhale up. Exhale back to down dog. Come up on your tippy toes, bend your knees, step your jump up. Inhale halfway up. Exhale down. Inhale all the way up. Swan dive backwards. Exhale down. Starting our third. Up to Cobra, or up dog, exhale back to down dog. Up on your tippy toes, bend your knees, step or jump up. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale down. Inhale, all the way up. Swan dive backwards. Exhale down. Inhale, halfway up. This is our fourth. Jump back. Go through your vinyasa, hopefully up dog, keeping those shoulders safe. Back to down dog. Bend your knees, jump up. Inhale, halfway up to bar dog. Exhale down. Inhale, all the way up, swing eye backwards. Exhale down. Inhale, halfway up. This is our fifth and final. Jump back. Go through your vinyasa. Exhale, back. Come up on your tippy toes. Bend your knees. Jump up. Inhale, halfway up. The heart up. Exhale, down. When you get to the top, close it out. Inhale, all the way up. Swan dive backwards. Hands together. Swan dive back down. And hands come to Aki Mahindra. Bowing our heads in honor of our practices. Good job, everyone. Okay, from here, let's go ahead and inhale those arms up. We're starting our sequencing. Exhale, swan dive down. Inhale, 
half straight up. Step it up back. Go through your vinyasa. Back to down dog. Good job. Walk on dog. Inhale that right leg all the way up. Exhale, swing it through to a lunge. Good job. Inhale up, the crescent. Drawing that right hip back, left hip forward. And then draw those hands back behind you. First of all, let's place that left hand on your left thigh. Right hand swings up and over. Looking back as far as you can. Then draw that hand back to Venus Mudra. Inhale first. Exhale as you launch off of that back foot. Into Virabhadrasana three. First we're bound, then open up so that you have airplane arms. Place those hands on the mat in front of you. We're in standing splits. Breathing in and out. Now, if this is in your practice, draw those hands so that they are on either side of that right leg. Bend your knee. Jump back. Three legged plank. Rotate forward. Go through your vinyasa. Exhale back to down dog. Inhale through your nose and side out. Inhale. One more time. Inhale. Good job. Inhale that left leg all the way up behind you. Exhale, swing it through to a lunge. Inhale up, to crescent. Left hip back, right hip forward. Exhale as you draw those hands back. This time, that right hand is finding that right thigh. Swing that left hand up. Sweeping your fingers across the ceiling, opening up. Job. Draw that hand back to meet your right hand. We're in Venus Mudra. Inhale first. Exhale as you push off that back foot. Coming in to Virabhadrasana three with bound arms first. Opening up the airplane. And then placing those hands on the on the mat, coming into standing splits wherever you are. Good job. Place those hands on either side of that left foot, bend your knee. Jump back with three-legged plank. And then go through your vinyasa wherever you are. Good job. Inhale through your nose and side out. Inhale. One more time, inhale. Inhale that right leg all the way up. Exhale, swing it forward. Plant your back foot, inhale up. Right hip back, left hip forward. Here to draw some one. Pinky fingers in. Virabhadrasana two. Check that back foot. It should be parallel with the front of the mat. Reach, 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 reach. Palm up. Exalt that warrior. Lift your hearts to the sky. Release toxins. Exhale back. Straighten that front leg. Place your hands on your hips, drag that right, uh, right hip forward, left hip back. We're pushing that right hip. Float those arms back up again. Reach, 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 and burst. Into Trikonasana, look up, see your thumb. Keep pulling that right hip forward, left hip back. 
Bend your front knee, tip yourselves into Ardha Chandrasana. Standing half moon, flex that foot to the wall. And the way down. Bend that front knee, tip yourselves back. To Virabhadrasana too. Cartwheel those arms down. Kick that right leg back. And go through your vinyasa wherever you are. It's perfect. Good job. Inhale through your noses, side out. Inhale. One more time. Inhale. Inhale that left leg all the way up behind you. Three legged dog slip. Exhale, swing it through. Plant your back foot, 45 degree angle. Inhale up. Left hip back, right hip forward. We are crossing the one. Job. Exhale. We are Vidrasana two. Check that back foot. It should be parallel with the front of the mat. Reach, 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 reach. reach, reach. Exhale. That warrior. Lift your hearts to the sky. Exhale back. Straighten that front leg. Place your hands on your hips, pull that right hip back, push that left hip forward. Reach, 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 reach. And then burst into Trikonasana, triangle pose. Look up, see your thumb. Good job. Look out beyond the mat. Bend that left knee, tip yourselves into Ardha Chandrasana, flexing that right foot to the wall. Breathing in and out in standing half moon. Bend that left knee, tip yourselves back into the Ardha two. Cartwheel those arms down. Kick that left leg back and go through your vinyasa. Or meet us in down dog, good job. Inhale through your nose and side out, inhale. One more time, inhale. Come up on your tippy toes, bend your knees, step or jump up. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, down to Uttanasana. Inhale, all the way up. Swan it backwards. Hands come together. And hands come to Anjali Mudra. Bowing our heads in honor of our practices. Good job. Now we're going to do some balance. This time it's Padakushtasana. So we're going to start in stork and then move in to Padangushtasana. But we're starting before we do anything. Let's see, I'll move over here. Into Dasana, mountain pose. Going all four corners of our feet into the earth, lifting those toes, finding a drishti or a focal point. Calf muscles moving inward, thighs are moving inward. Pelvis down the back, abdomen is in. Shoulders back and down. The crowns of our heads are moving towards the heavens. And our hands are open to receive into Dasana. Draw those hands to Anjali Mudra. Come up on that right tippy toe. Inhale, that knee into a marching position. Flex your foot. Inhale, those arms up above you into stork. Keep breathing, finding that drishti. Hands come to the Uttita. And then down. Take that left hand, grab onto your right toe. Extend that leg. Open up behind you. Reaching behind you. Extending that right arm behind you. Maybe looking behind you. This is in your practice. Bend your knee. Draw yourselves back into a marching position as you inhale. 
Exhale as you draw that leg down. Shake it out. Good job, everyone. Let's do the other side. Starting into the asana once again. With those toes, find that connection with all four corners of your feet. Hands come. Come up on those left tippy toes. And then inhale that leg into a marching position. Flex your foot. Inhale those arms up overhead in the stork. Pinky fingers in. Mutita. Down. Take your right hand. Grab onto your left toe. Extend that left leg. And then reach behind you as well. If you look behind you, if this is in your practice in Padangushtasana, then that left knee, come back to a marching position. Inhale. And then exhale as you release that foot down. Shake it out. Good job. So from here, let's go up to the top of our mats. Hands are Anjali Mudra. Take a giant step back with that left foot. Bring those toes in. Push those heels out. Bring your hands back to Venus Mudra, shoulders back and down. Inhale first. Exhale, flat back, hinge at the hips all the way down as far as you can. Maybe allow those wrists to fall forward with gravity. Good job, everyone. Draw those wrists back towards your waist. Release those hands, place them on the mat. Inhale, halfway up to Arda. Spread your feet if you can. Exhale back, drawing the crowns of your heads down towards the mat, walking those hands underneath your legs. Preparing for Prasarita Parvatanasana. Inhale as you walk those hands back. Right hand comes out. Inhale that left arm all the way up. Exhale, cross under. Grabbing your thigh, your calf, or your ankle. Look up underneath that right shoulder. Inhale that right arm up. Bend your elbow. Find that left hip crease and breathe. Breathing in to cross the rena, harness up. Inhale that right arm up. Exhale down. Inhale that left arm up. Exhale down. Good job. Place that left hand out. Just a, or excuse me. Yes, left hand out. Inhale. That right arm all the way up. Exhale, cross under, grabbing that left thigh, left calf, left ankle. Inhale, that left arm up. Bend your elbow, find that right hip crease, and breathe. Breathing in to Prasarita Hardy Tanasana. Inhale, that left arm up. Exhale down. Inhale, that right arm all the way up. And exhale down. Good job. Twisting to the back of the room. Walking those hands to the left. Coming up on your tippy toes. Into a lunge. Place that right knee down, right top of foot down. Inhale first. Exhale, extend that left leg into dragon, bending your elbows. Inhale back. Exhale all the way. Extend that leg. You can do your splits. You can do your splits here. That's fine. Inhale forward. And exhale back. Inhale forward. Come turn that ball of your foot underneath in the back. Twisting to the front of the room in Flying Monkey. Flexing that right foot. Sitting down on that left heel. And then drawing those hands to heart center, possibly. Or up, or head. <laughs> if this is in your practice. Wherever you are is perfect. 
even just try it for a few seconds if you can. Good job. Using the strength of your legs, come up to the top of the mat. In flying monkey on the right side, flexing that left foot, bringing your hands to Anjali Mudra, or bringing them up overhead. And smile. Good job. And then from here, twisting to the front of the room. Place that left knee down, left top of the foot down. Inhale first. Exhale, extend that right leg. Bend those elbows. Drag in. Inhale forward. Exhale all the way back. Inhale forward. All the way back. Last time, make it count. Inhale forward, curl that back toe under, lift your knee, walk that right foot all the way to the left. Right knee down, left knee down, top of left foot. Inhale as we walk those shins back. Good job. Take your hands in Venus Mudra. If this is in your practice, shoulders back and down. Exhale forward. Lead with your heart all the way down. Left cheek on the mat. Breathing in and out. In resting pigeon. Releasing any unwanted emotion that you may be storing on that right hip. Keeping it from becoming brittle and breaking later on. In one of the most healing positions in yoga, which is resting pigeon. May the long time sun shine upon Slowly inhale as you walk those hands back again, coming off on that right hip. Swing that left leg all the way around. Left foot is parallel to the right thigh. Bring that right foot in and that right elbow <clears throat> in. Inhale that left arm up and around. Find that right hip crease and breathe. Breathing into the Mariana Again, maybe take the mind if this is in your practice. Don't feel that you have to. Releasing toxins, cleaning out our internal organs. Inhale back to center. Keep those knees stacked. Inhale, both arms up, and cow space. Exhale, flat back, and reach the hips all the way down. Reach, 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 reach. And then just melt into firewood. Releasing that left sciatic nerve. Inhale, as you walk those hands back again, press into the mat with your hands. The blades of your feet, extend your legs. Inhale first. Exhale as you walk those hands to the right all the way around. 360 degrees coming up on the balls of your feet. Cross your knees, knees down, hips down, sit up. Cow space. Again, at some point we'll try to make sure that we have straps so that we can do the traditional cow space, grabbing our hands behind our back. Some of you might be able to do that already. Obviously, we switch off. So these, these elbows are the cow's ears. <laughs> Inhale, both arms up. Next, pull down. Reach, 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 flat back. And then just melt. Inhale. 
Inhale as you walk those hands back again. Press into the mat with your hands and the blades of your feet. Extend those legs. Inhale first. Exhale as you walk your hands all the way in a circle to the left. Coming up on the balls of your feet. Cross your knees. Knees down. Hips down. Sitting up straight. In cow space. Extend those legs. Shake them out. Good job. Come up to the tops of your mats in Malasana Yogi Squat. And again, from here, let's move into Bakasana, placing our hands just beyond the mat, coming up on our tippy toes, rocking back and forth, coming up to a place that feels good, rocking forward, looking towards the front of the room, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12. 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Good job. Building our strength, our strength. And then from here, inhale from your root chakra up through your crown chakra. Exhale down again. Inhale. And exhale. your hands on the mat. Inhale, halfway up to Arda. Shoulders back and down. Take a giant step back with that right foot and walk your left foot all the way across. Left knee down, right knee down, top of right foot down. Inhale those arms as you walk backwards. Drawing those hands to Venus Mudra behind you. Inhale first. Exhale, lead with your hearts all the way down this time. Right cheek comes down. In resting pigeon. Again, breathing in and out. Releasing any unwanted emotion that you may be storing on that left hip. Slowly inhale as we walk those hands back again. Come off on that left hip. Swing that right leg all the way around. Right foot is parallel to the left thigh. Bring that left foot in and that left elbow in. And inhale that right arm up and around. Find that left hip crease. Breathing in to the Mariandrasana twist. Releasing toxins. Massaging our internal organs. Inhale back to center. Extend your legs in front of you. Shake it out. Good job. Now, if you have a block, find it. Keep it handy. If you don't, that's fine as well. Inhale first. Exhale inch by inch. Vertebrae by vertebrae down to the mat. Draw those knees in for a much deserved hug. Rock back and forth. Place your heels below your sit bones. Take your block in hand. Inhale as you push those hips up, placing it underneath your sacrum. Now you can move into bridge or into wheel if you're not in a supported bridge, if you don't have a block. You can walk those heels out if you're in a supported bridge. Maybe draw those arms overhead in a T formation. This should feel really good. Slowly draw those arms back overhead. Walk your feet in. Inhale as you push those hips up. Release the block. Exhale inch by inch down again. Draw those knees in for a hug. And then from here, place your feet as wide as the mat. <clears throat> Inhale first as your arms are out east and west. Exhale as those knees fall all the way down to the left. Place that left foot on your right knee and look over to the right. In windshield wipers. Release 
that left one. Inhale those knees back to center and exhale as they fall all the way to the right. Place that right foot on your left knee. Look off to the left in windshield wipers. Good job. Full body twist. Release that right foot. Inhale those knees back to center. Now we're moving into an inversion. You can do it with your block if you'd like to. However you get your torso up above your head is wonderful. So we're in a shoulder stand here, walking those shoulders under, flattening out our backs as much as we can, keeping our feet looking like Barbie feet so we look like a candlestick. Maybe drawing those toes overhead into Halasana or plow pose. Sorry, I don't have enough room here. Breathing in and out. Possibly bending those knees, placing them around your ears in ear pressure pose or snail pose. And then inch by inch, vertebrae by vertebrae coming down to the mat. Draw those knees in for a hug. Inhale through your noses, side out. Inhale. <sighs> One more time. Inhale. <sighs> and with that intention, allow your legs to come out as wide as the mat or wider. Arms are down beside your torso. Palms are up to receive down to ground, starting to relax. Relax your toes, relax your feet, relax your ankles, relax your calves, relax your knees, relax your thighs, relax your hips, relax your torsos, relax your fingers, relax your hands, relax your wrists, relax your forearms, relax your elbows, relax your upper arms, relax your shoulders, relax your necks, relax your jaws, relax your cheeks. Relax your foreheads, relax the crowns of your heads, just relax. Start to bring movement back to your fingers and your toes by wiggling your toes and maybe touching each finger with your thumb. Reach your arms overhead, extend through your feet, giving yourselves a full body stretch and filling your lungs with your breath. Then exhale as you draw those knees in for one final compassionate hug, rocking back and forth massaging your lower backs and your kidneys. <clears throat> Slowly roll over to the right side in the fetal position and remain here for a few breaths. Then using the strength of your arms, come back to a seated position, facing the front of the room, legs are crossed, hands are at Anjali Mudra, Heads are bowed in honor of your practices. From the place deep in my soul that I know to be pure and true, I bow to and honor that same place that resides within each of you. Thank you so much for coming to practice yoga with me on this beautiful Tuesday. Have a wonderful rest of the week and see you on Thursday. Namaste. Thank you all. So good to see you. Thank, Thank you, you Elizabeth. Here. I miss seeing you guys in person, though, obviously. <laughs> <laughs>